hope you're making your scores. Right, next up we have Edward. He's doing a piece called The Collector. Give it up for Edward! I used to think of you like a butterfly, <laughs> a, a pale cloud of jello, for instance. I used to have dreams about meeting you and doing things you admired and living in a nice modern house and you helping me by my collection. <coughs> of course, I knew it was all just dreams. I knew you'd never be interested in me. I was outside your class. It'd probably always have been the same if it hadn't been for the money. But right from the start, I could see people. I'm just all arranged for people who act like public schoolboys, and you don't get anywhere if you don't have the right man of all in the right lardy dar voice in rich people's London. The West End, of course. Now, one day I was in a coffee bar near the Slade School of Art, and you were standing right next to me. And there was such a crush, we was almost touching. I felt my face all red. I said, I said my paper, but I, I couldn't read. I thought I'd do anything to be able to know you, to watch you without spying on you. <laughs> that was the day I gave myself the dream that came true, when you were being attacked by a man, and I ran up and rescued you, and then suddenly I became the man that was attacking you. <laughs> and it, I know you hurt you. I captured you and took you to a house in the country where I kept you prisoner in a nice kind of way. <laughs> and gradually you came to know me and like me and suddenly, suddenly it stopped being a dream and began to be what was really going to happen. I thought I can't ever get to know her in the ordinary kind of way but if she's with me, She'll see my good points. She'll understand. Raise that bar! Give it up for Edward! Fantastic! We're high